Use detector tubes for screening and field surveys. Use validated methods for compliance sampling. On receipt of your sampling kit, you should have the correct type and number of tubes, instruction manual, GV100 piston pump, and case. To get started, insert each end of a tube into the tip breaker located at the front end of the piston pump. Score and break off both ends of the tube. Insert the tube securely into the pump inlet with the arrow on the tube pointing toward the pump. Make sure the pump handle is all the way inside the piston body and align the guide marks on the pump body and handle. Pull out the handle all the way until it locks on one pump stroke. This is 100 ml of air. Wait until the flow finish indicator on the handle pops out. This will take approximately one and a half minutes. Take your sample reading. Here are some sample tube reading tips. Hold the tube against a light background. When the end of the color change is flat, take the reading at the end of the layer. When the end of the color change layer is slanted, read the value in the middle of the slant. When the demarcation of the color change layer is pale, read the value in the middle between the dark layer and the pale layer end. Depending upon the contaminant tube you are using and the result you get after one stroke, you may need to retake the sample, either with a half stroke if the concentration is low or with two strokes if the concentration is high. Refer to the instructions to find out what correction factors you need to apply to this sample. The instructions also tell you about potential interferences and how to dispose of the tube after you are finished. When finished, repack the pump and ship back to Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact Galson Laboratories by phone, email, or IH live chat. You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at galsonlabs.com. Thank you.